Good day everyone! For today's video, we're going to study about polygons. For our learning objectives, we have Visualize, name, describe, and draw polygons with 5 or more sides. Describe and compare properties of polygons, regular and irregular polygons. And lastly, visualize congruent polygons. Let's play the game, What Shape Am I? Are you ready? Let's have the first one. I am a close figure polygon with three sides. What shape am I? Very good children, I am triangle. Always remember that a triangle is a polygon with three sides. How about this? I have five sides. What shape am I? Very good! I am pentagon. Always remember that pentagon have five sides. How about this one? I am a polygon with eight vertices. What shape am I? Very good children, I am octagon. Always remember that octagon is a polygon with 8 vertices and 8 sides. How about this? I am a polygon with 10 sides and 10 angles. What shape am I? Good job! I am decagon. Always remember that decagon has 10 sides and 10 angles. Always remember that polygons is a closed plane figure with straight sides. Here are the examples of polygons. As you can see children, these examples have straight sides. That's why it is a polygon. And this one at the bottom are not polygons. Why? Because they have curved sides. And as you can see at the last figure, there is an open sides here. Therefore, they are not polygons. Because polygons consist of straight sides. Is that clear? Let's take a look at the properties of polygons. I have here this triangle. This triangle has three vertices. When you say vertices, children, it is the intersection of two or more lines. And this triangle has three sides. The line segment that joins two vertices in a shape or two-dimensional figure that is the sides of the triangle. And this triangle is consist of three angles. When you say angle, that is the space between two intersecting lines or surfaces at or close to the point where they meet. The triangle has three sides and three vertices. While the quadrilateral, it has four sides and four vertices. While the pentagon has five sides, hexagon, six sides, heptagon, seven sides, octagon, eight sides, nonagon, nine sides, and lastly, we have decagon, ten sides. For you to memorize it easily, always remember that triangle from the word tri, that is 3, quadrilateral from the word quad, that is 4, pentagon, penta, that is 5, hexagon, hexa, that is 6, heptagon, hepta, that is 7, octagon, octa, that is 8, Nonagon, Nona, that is 9. And lastly, Decagon, that is 10. So let's count from 3 up to 10 using Tri, Quad, 
Ananta, Hexa, Hepta, Okta, Nona, and Deca. Is that clear, children? Let's have the three kinds of polygons. First, we have regular polygon, irregular polygon, and lastly, the congruent polygon. When you say regular polygon, it is a polygon that is equiangular or all angles are equal in measure. And equilateral, all sides have the same length. So that is an example of regular polygon. Next, we have the irregular polygon. When you say irregular polygon, it can have sides of any length and each interior angle can be any measure. So in this irregular polygon, the sides are not the same or they have different measurements. Is that clear? Let's proceed to the last one. We have congruent polygon. Polygons are congruent when they have the same number of sides. And all corresponding sides and interior angles are congruent. The polygons will have the same shape and size, but one may be repeated or be the mirror of the other. That is an example of congruent polygon. So now children, let's play a game true or false. Let's have the first one. Octagon is a plain figure that has 8 sides. Is it true or false? Very good children, that is true. Always remember that octagon has 8 sides. How about this one? Vertex is the space between two intersecting lines. Is it true or false? Good job, children! It is false. Why? Because it's not the vertex. It is the angle. Angle is the space between two intersecting lines. How about if we have this? A polygon with six sides, six vertices, and six angles is called heptagon. Is it true or false? Very good, children! This is false. It's not heptagon. Remember, heptagon has five sides. So when you're talking about six sides, six vertices, and six angles, that is hexagon. How about if we have this? I am decagon. I have ten sides. Is it true or false? Good job, children! This is true. Always remember that decagon have 10 sides. The picture below is a pentagon. Is it true or false? Very good, children! This is false. Because pentagon has 5 sides. So let's count the sides of this polygon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it has 9 sides, therefore it is nonagon. That's all for today, children. Thank you for watching.